Welcome back everybody. So guys here in this video we'll be talking about the react.js components. So as we discussed before, the components are everything in react or everything of the react is called a component. Okay, this clause and everything like that we'll be making further will be actually called the component in react.js. In this class we'll be actually making a template, a way to create a template. So what I'm going to do for now I'm going to make three classes, three or four classes, the header class, the footer class, the content class, and then <clears throat> we'll be only exporting the app class. And uh, as you can see that we are, we are already exporting only the app class, and then that will make a pair. You'll be seeing what I'm just going to do for now. Okay, so just suppose all this data is a header. All these things is a header, okay? So I'm just going to make a new class there. But before making a new class, we need to update it. We need to update the content of this class. So do we still need this variable? Okay, just remain it as it is. I'm just I'm just gonna do a few more things here. I'm just uh, running the CMD because I just wanna run the server. And here I'm just typing npm start, as you remember. Okay, oh, npm start, inline break. And okay, okay, it's just telling that there is no package.json file any uh in his path in his Shazir Kamal's path means actually we just need to go to again to the desktop yeah desktop and then the folder name was react application and line break it now we are inside the react app folder and now if we just run the npm start then because of the package.json the metadata will be loaded of the server of this uh, whole application now it got there you can see that the project the webpack compiled successfully i'm just going to the browser and here i'm just running that I'm just typing here the local host and line breaking. Now you can see that we're learning React.js, a new dev, hello world, in EDC, all this stuff. We can just put into the, or why not we just delete all that stuff because it's not as important as it's looking. We just can make a new thing. This is the hater, okay? You know all this stuff so i can also delete that one too so i'm deleting that no problem no problem no problem i'm deleting that one and there then i just need to maintain it and now here i'm just gonna make i'm just gonna edit the class uh, name into hater okay that's cool <clears throat> it's still we're exporting the app default app by the way there is no app for now but i'm just gonna make someone before making anything here, before putting anything here, why not we just go to the browser to check that out, the result, there is nothing. You know, we just put it the, the this is a header, but there is nothing we just can see because the class name is app. Uh, class name should be app because we're exporting the app, but there is no app, and this is the header. I'm just making it, if I just make it an app, then you can see that there will be the result, this is the header, but I'm just making it in header, okay? This is a header class, and there is no header. Also, I'm making another class meanwhile class content extends react dot component okay now pull the braces going inside and just making it runner parentheses pull the braces and going inside and return same thing as we did before the parentheses again now inside the parentheses we are going to put some con like the div or any other thing i'm just putting the div and the, the, i'm just typing this is the content okay in the same way you can do a lot of things you just can make the you know class footer extends react the component Call the braces there, it should be the capital, the C should be capital, I'm just making it capital now, it's cool. I'm going down and there I'm just line breaking and just putting the runner, call parentheses, call the braces, go inside and return again, and uh, the parentheses, going inside the parentheses, and then there, another div I'm just making here, and I'm just putting inside this div is, this is the full term. Okay, awesome. But there is nothing like the app. Okay, now I'm just gonna do what I need to do. I'm just saving it. I'm just going to the browser. Still, you can see that there is no result if I just refresh. However, we just didn't need to be refreshed this page, but uh, we, did, we did that, by the way. Now, 
where is the app? Here I'm just making a very first class and this class name I'm just uh, putting as app and extends absolutely I'm just gonna add the react as the component here close the braces going inside and render I'm just gonna render it okay again the you know parentheses close the braces inside the close the braces I'm just gonna make the return and the close the braces uh, sorry parentheses going inside the parentheses out like that and there I need the same I need the same okay cool save it now line break and here what I'm just gonna do for now I'm just gonna put a simple div and you will be seeing what I'm just doing this is the main app save it now go to the browser and only the main app will be visible because exactly we're just only exporting this one if I just export another one um, you can see that hey done save it now go to the browser and nothing you can see that okay this why because we are, we've already exported the one we just need to be export now what is a way to make these classes workable here instead of typing this is a main app i'm just uh, going inside and just making some i'm just using some some uh, some tags we've made the, some tags we can use these classes as tags and i'm just going to use them here i'm just typing in a capital H, okay, header, save it, now go to the browser, okay, and save it, there is a header, okay, you got the header, okay, now, line break, as I said, when you just made a class, you just made the class name as a new tag, and anything which is inside the class will be, will become the part of the tag, so there, here I'm just typing the content, okay, in this way and save it now go to the browser you will be seeing this is a content go there and line break and then the footer there is a footer this is a footer okay now everything you just put inside the, the single tag a single class will become a part of the tag and then inside the single class you can put you know that the the javascript expressions you can you know, you know that ternary operators means the if else conditions and you also can put the uh, styles, you know, whatever you just want to put, you can. So this is how we just make these things happen. In the next class, we'll be talking about more about this. So stay tuned and goodbye.